Hey friends, welcome to my channel, Mathematical Coaching Center. After watching this video, don't forget to. Hello students, we have already covered exercise 2.1. Now it's time to work out with 2.2. And in this exercise, we have already solved question number 1 and 2, right? Now, if you are having any problem in understanding ratio or with regard to exercise 2.1, then click on the link given above and the same link is also provided in the description below. Okay, now let's start. This is question number three. Let's find the mixed ratio of the following ratios and find the type of given ratios. So here we have to mix the ratio. That means we have to combine two or three ratios that are given and we have to make a single ratio. Okay, now the question is like this. There are two ratios. Now before we start mixing, we have to have the idea of antecedent and consequent. So there are two terms, antecedent and consequent. So to make you understand, I'm taking one example, one ratio, three is to five. So the left part of the ratio, that is the first part is known as antecedent and the right part or the second part is known as consequent. Understood? Now let's get back to the question. Now there are two ratios given, two by three is to five and seven by eight is to two. To mix the ratio, we have to multiply all the antecedents and keep them on the left side. And we have to multiply all the consequents and keep them on the right side to make the new ratio. Okay. Now the antecedents are 2 by 3 and 7 by 8. Understood the left part. And the consequents are 5 and 2. So we are multiplying the antecedents and consequents. Now if you observe the left side, there is one chance of reducing the expression. Right. So we can do one thing just divide 8 by 2 so 2 into 1 will become 2 and 2 4 will become 8 now if you multiply 1 into 7 will become 7 and 3 into 4 will become 12 and 5 into 2 is 10 so the new ratio is 7 by 12 is to 10 again we can just remove this fraction part by doing the cross multiplication so cross multiplication can be done in terms of ratios okay so if you multiply 12 into 10 it will become 120 and we'll move on to the right side and 7 there is nothing on the in the denominator so assume that there is 1 so 7 into 1 will become 7 so 7 is to 120 is the final answer now we have to find the type of the ratio also so if antecedent means the left part is less than the right part then it is lesser inequality if the left part is greater then it is greater inequality so since 7 is less than 120 that's why it is lesser inequality so this is the answer understood now next sum question number four out of 100 sums Rita got 60 sums correct okay so out of 80 of those sums Binay got 50 sums correct find the ratio who got more sums correct so it's very easy I have just divided the frame okay so in the first frame I have kept Rita and in the second frame I have kept Binay now in case of Rita there are total sums 100 corrected sums 60 so the score of Rita is 60 out of 100 so 60 divided by 100 understood now in case of Binay the score is 50 divided by 80 because there are 80 questions okay now the ratio of the scores of Rita and Binay will be simple 60 divided by 100 is to 50 divided by 80 okay now if you just minimize this expression if you simplify let's just cut zeros okay like this so you'll get 6 by 10 and 5 by 8 now in order to find out which one is more or which one is greater in case of ratios okay we have to make the denominator equal okay so how to make the denominator equal denominator means the lower part of the ratio so these are the denominators okay so 10 and 8 so we have to make the lower part equal so how to make them equal there is one rule we can find the LCM okay and the next way is we can just multiply each other in order to make the lower part that is the denominators equal we just need to multiply each other okay so 10 into 8 and 8 into 10 like this 10 into 8 and 8 into 8. So similarly we are doing that only 10 into 8, 10 into 8 and 8 into 10. So the lower part will become 80 for both. Okay, left and the right part. 
but we cannot multiply simply the denominators only we have to multiply the numerators with the same number so since we are uh, multiplying the denominator with 8 so in the upper part also we have to multiply the numerator with 8 only okay and in the right side we have to multiply the numerator by 10 because we have multiplied the denominator by 10 hope you have understood okay now you just multiply them 6 into 8 is 48 and 5 into 10 is 50 understood now since the denominators are equal you can simply compare the numerators okay since 48 is less than 50 48 is less than 50 that's why 50 is greater right so 50 is scored by b9 okay so out of 80 Rita got 48 and out of 80 b9 got 50 that means b9 got more sums correct okay now the last question for today question number six the ratio of the cost of two houses is four is to three now these are the cost okay and the cost of the second house the upper one is the just the ratio and the second value is the actual cost of the second house is four lakh twenty thousand okay so four lakhs twenty thousand is the cost of the second house we are asked to find the cost of the first house now we can write the given part okay the ratio of the cost of two houses four is to three then cost of second house four lakhs twenty thousand then cost of first house is equal to question mark now since we are given the ratios we can use the help of multiplying factor so I'm considering a to be the multiplying factor now if a is the multiplying factor then we can simply write cost of first house is 4 and this one a okay and second house is 3a and according to the question the cost of second house is this much okay it's here now we can simply write this 3a is equal to okay now bring this 3 to the right side and since this is multiplying a so while crossing the equal to sign it will go to the denominator because it will divide the number so 3 will go down okay so if you divide 4 lakh 20 thousand by 3 3 into 1 3 3 into 1 3 3 4 12 rest 4 zeros okay now a is equal to 1 lakh 40 thousand okay now the cost of first house is 4a now we have the value of a as 1 lakh 40 thousand now we need to find the cost of the first house okay so the first house will be this one cost of first house is 4a because of the ratio so 4a we have the value of a as 1 lakh 40 thousand so let's multiply that the answer will become 5 lakh 60 thousand so this is just the first part of the question this is not the full question okay now let's do the second part of the question now the second part is like this it is in yellow color if the cost of the first house was 70,000 more okay then find the ratio of the cost so we have to add the 70,000 because it is saying more so 70,000 to the previous price of the first house so the first so the cost of the first house is five six zero 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 Five lakh sixty thousand till now. Okay, now we need to find the new cost of the first house. So the old cost is this one, and we have to add seventy thousand. So it will become six lakhs thirty thousand. Understood? Now the cost of second house is this one. Now let's find the ratio of their cost. So the uh, cost of first house is six lakh thirty thousand. This is the new price and the cost of second house is this much only now let's try to minimize this again so four zeros will be reduced okay so we have 63 is to 42 now if you divide 63 and 42 by 7 7 into 9 will become 63 7 6 42 okay so 9 is to 6 again you can divide this 3 into 3 9 and 3 to the 6 the so 3 is to 2 is the final answer understood now these questions are 
for homework okay so you do it and do it very nicely and if you are having problem then you can ask in whatsapp group okay so copy this bye